I'm getting ready to do my extracting for the year, and I'm just going to explain my setup that I've got for, for going here. First, I've, I put on a fresh new wardrobe because everything should be clean, clean, clean. So I've got a new fresh pair of pants and a fresh uh, t-shirt, so um, I'm not going to be bringing anything nasty into my pro food processing area. I have an uh, apron, I have a hat, and I have nitro gloves. And I like the gloves because if there's any tiny microscopic cuts or things on my hand, it's, it's going to keep me inside the glove and uh, it won't contaminate the honey. I have a bucket that has some clean uh, hot water and uh, a cloth that I can wipe up spills. I have a, a pail that I can put the fresh honey into. And the pail has, is fit up with a honey gate that I can use later to uh, uh, pull the honey out. I have a little uh, double boiler set up here where I can put the cappings wax in uh, at the end and have it just sit while I'm, I'm doing the extraction and gravity will pull out more honey from that cappings and put it into the bottom. I have a shut off valve for my extractor in the event that I have a blowout and uh, I can't get the extractor to stop, stop going and it's full of honey and this way at least I won't have an overflow and have a problem. I have a mop and bucket. This way I can clean up any spills and gunk and mess and things like that. And I'm going to take you into the hot room. Um, I have my honey supers in here. They've been uh, pulled two days ago and they have been warming up. The nice thing about warming them is I'm going to get more honey out of them because it, it won't all be getting hard and heavy. Uh, if you don't warm them, you'll notice that the uh, actual frames, once they're done extra being extracted, can still carry up a fair bit of weight, which means that they've still got honey in them. Um, I have a dehydrator going and a little handheld bee vacuum. Uh, basically, it's a vacuum and I'll suck up any stray bees and then I can take them back to the beehives rather than having them perish in uh, my little space here. And there is a heater and like I say, it's been going for a couple of days and uh, we're lucky because we're on solar, solar uh, electricity so uh, it, it is a nice touch because then it's just nice and, and uh, renewable energy. So coming out here, I have my whole setup for extracting. First, I have some honey supers that are ready to go. I have a pallet that I can, um, when I pull the, the frames out of the actual supers for uncapping, I can have the spare box there to set it down so that this way there's a place for it to go. Each of these frames will have to come out individually and come to this uncapping station where I will use the hive tool to scrape off any wax from the, around the sides of the frame and then I will use my uncapping fork to scratch the surface of both sides of the honey supers uh, before putting it in the extractor. An extractor works just like a washing machine. It goes round and round. And when it goes round, it spins all the honey out to the edges. Um, and uh, when the supers are warm, it will take less time than if they are cold. I have a setup where I can actually get ahead of it. So when there's 20 frames inside the extractor going round and round, I can get another 20 of them ready so that when they are done, I just flip out the first 20 and flip in the next and keep uncapping. We'll go over to this side and this is where the actual honey comes out. It will go into a pail. I have set this pail onto a pizza pan because really you're dealing with food and nothing should be touching the floor. So a pizza pan is nice because you can put a nice clean pail on top of a nice clean pizza pan and it's not on the floor and then when you're done everything's easy to pick up and take away and clean and sanitize. Um, and uh, for most people, uh, well, some people will actually filter and strain things right away, but a really good idea is just to take, take deal with it this way, pop it into the bucket, let it sit for a day or two, skim off the top because a lot of the wax and gunk and and uh, bee parts are going to float up to the top and then you can just skim them off. At that point, if you want to filter it, uh, which most people will do, um, then you can, but it's going to take a lot less time than if you do it straight away and your filtering has to work that hard. Uh, the only other little detail is that when I'm in my honey house, I uh, tuck my pants into my socks because it doesn't matter how well you've taken the bees out, there will be the odd bee that ends up in where your extracting area and inevitably they're going to find your ankles. So 
there's my little safety tip. So this is my setup, and good luck with your honey extracting. <laughs>